I think that why is now? I don't know. Of course, the only the best question, the best answer to your question would be that we are actually in a worse situation, and we haven't been that since I don't know when. Not even the Second World War. I mean, it goes further back. But we are actually in. We are taking action in wars around the world, but we don't talk about. It. So for a filmmaker, it's a great kind of standing point to try to tell a story about. This is this is Denmark, 2015. I I don't think I I'm not thinking about audiences as some national thing. I, I think that it's uh, I'm trying to connect through the films with the with the human side of, 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 of us all and I think that of course the Danish people and the Scandinavian peoples will will know about Greenland and they will have ideas about Danish democracy and which is challenged in the film but I think I was just showing it in France and in, in the US and I think all countries have these kinds of stories and n none of us wants to be lied to or be held in the dark so I think that there is a universal truth in the story that connects with audiences everywhere. So, and of course, the director all, always wants the biggest possible audience <laughs> he can get. So, uh, mm. uh, world dominance through the films, right? Yes. What we did was we had some uh, discussions with the with the, um, the the U.S. Em embassy in Copenhagen. Um, and we also, uh, I have been doing a lot of research, uh, so we have been also been talking about, uh, talking with the American journalists and uh, people who know about archives, you know, how the archives work over there. Um, and also when we, we have shot some of the scenes in, in the US, in Washington and Texas, and so there's also like a lot of collaboration with film crews. Uh, so, yeah, it has been a collaboration, yeah. The, the one shot that we have to make from Greenland was the plane crash. And since we, uh, uh, have, we don't have the money to do a real plane crash, we had to do it in digitally, in the computer. And, um, and then when we were in the editing, we found all this archive material from the real cleanup of the accident. And I thought this is much more stronger than if I go out and create similar scenes with actors. So we we decided to to um, use archive material. And also the story takes place after these people come back from Greenland. So the story takes place in Copenhagen and in the States and in Aarhus in Denmark. So um, it wouldn't really have made have, haven't made any sense to go to Greenland. Also, it's very expensive to go to Greenland, so, money. and we don't have that much money to make films in Denmark. <laughs>